How's it going, guys? Gas Station here with... Linking7, what's up? And we're going to uh, do a quick reaction video to the new Bridal Banner. I had a meltdown on Twitter because the woman that I love in Fire Emblem, comma, Tanith, got announced, and I had a meltdown on Twitter because she is the best, and I love her. Anyway, um, we're gonna just do a banner reaction, not... <clears throat> I don't know about you, but I hate when they go ahead and they show them, like, right at the beginning. I know, it's... I hate it. I don't like it. I don't like the new setup for this. Like, I get it's... I get the initial hype, but I, I don't like this part. Like, the, uh, this, like, the fiery shit. It kind of looks gross. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, wasting ten seconds. <laughs> just, like, just show the units. And show well, them one by go. one so we're actually they're, surprised. Well, they're sharing you the units right now. <laughs> and there she is. The lint on my outfit is none of your concern. Focus on battle, not bridal gowns. Ah, uh, the best. Okay, so, Tanith is great. I love her personality. She is from Tellius, which is a game I'm like kinda eh on, but she's a great character. Has three supports, the Oscar one's really, really great. The Marcia one's kinda funny, and the Raisin one is like just her being like, is it Reason or Raisin? I call him Raisin all the time. I say Raisin. I don't even like... Do they even say his name in Heroes? I don't know. We'd have to go and see. But Heroes always deviates from the canon in so many different ways. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> it's inconsistent even within itself. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, she's the best. And she's the greatest. By the way, she's awesome. Anyway, so <laughs> she has Lofty Blossoms. If you initiates combat, it's literally just Swift Sparrow, which is cool. And she also has Swift Sparrow in her kit which means she gets plus eight attack and speed on initiation. Chill attack three, which is not new, and fortify flyers, which is like very much not new. But the big thing for her is harsh command plus. Um, so this is harsh command, except instead of just reversing uh, negative status effects, as in, or sorry, negative deep, or just debuffs or panics? Yeah, debuffs. Stuff? Yeah, debuffs and panics. It also reverses um, counterattacks, restricting movement, like those kind of like next gen status downs. So it's things like Flash Plus. Panic is actually new. The original Harsh Command didn't used to reverse Panic. So okay. it's like it's all the movement stuff, which Harsh Command didn't used to. Like all the um, like the Panic Manor or not the Panic Manor, the Tactics Room and AR, like all those yeah. movement debuffs, gravity, all that stuff. It's basically Restore Plus and Harsh Command combined. Yeah. Except not the heal. You know, I I thought when i first read this i was like wait hold on hold on hold on does it reverse movement as in like i get a movement buff because that would be crazy i don't it doesn't do that it just converts any penalties on target into, into bonuses but that would be hilarious if you can just like get gravity but then you just get plus one move on harsh command plus that would be insane i don't know if they do that though no because it, it the beginning says neutralizes right yeah. so it just deletes them and then it just converts the penalties so yeah. even things like panic aversa for example the way she panics you i don't think you'll be able to to you know how you get debuffed and panicked at the same time yeah. i don't think you'll be able to flip the whole thing to be like plus 13 haha -ha, so funny <laughs> <laughs> yeah no they'll probably just reverse the panic and then just like reverse or like reapply the the debuffs into buffs just like normal harsh command like a very useful ar thing because so many buildings just kind of gimp you hardcore like tactics rooms are annoying but pan like panic would be really helpful because panic is like everywhere in ar so being able to just like switch that up like right real quick it's definitely going to be useful but i'm not sure if i'm going to start seeing it everywhere i think arena is also a really good place where this will thrive i i don't think you'll see it much on ar offense as you're playing on offense i think you'll yeah. see it a lot on defense because it it's definitely got some shenanigans it's an interesting skill. I don't think it's like OP, but no, it's, it's very, not. very good. Yeah, it's, it has its uses for sure. What do you think of the weapon, Lofty Blossoms? I mean, Inheritable Swift Sparrow on a Lance, that's pretty damn good. And you know this is going to be refinable too, because it's it's also an Inheritable weapon. So Yeah. 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 Rip uh, Siegbert, who, that was his weapon skill, like, sorry, bro. <laughs> I like I like Harsh Command, though. That's kind of fun, because like, in... Uh, in like the Telia series, she could literally just summon her, her like Bengian flyer troops and just like command them to go anywhere, which is kind of cool. So, I think that's kind of fitting. Yeah, that is an interesting throwback to the lore. Actually, I didn't think about it that way. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna be actually pulling for her. Obviously, I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna spend too much real life money on this on her specifically because like, 
I, I got a bunch of tweets saying like, are you going to plus 10 her? And I'm like, okay, I spent money on trying to plus 10 Hell Bindi. And the only reason I decided to do that was because he was on a two person banner. And then he was on like another banner. So he was like really easy to get. But sharing a, like being a blue flyer, sharing a banner with Pent. Uh, don't also on a four person banner. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, it's not, I would have to like, I only have like a hundred orbs to my name right now. So <laughs> I'll get lucky I mean- if I get one. Pick a god and pray. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I'm just really excited to pull for her. What do you think of the art? She looks like she got a little bit of a chest upgrade. She did. I think she's amazingly gorgeous because she's Tanith and she's the best. Her hair is awesome. <laughs> her haircut's the best part about her. Always was. So unique. What other what other Fire Emblem character has a haircut like that? That is a woman. None. There's a few short-haired ones, but I don't think any of them are that short. No, none. I feel like, like I feel like yeah, it's S is close and like so is like Marcia. I feel like Sigrun is like the auto one out here. I don't know, maybe her I'm skills Sigrun. are just like and or her stats are out of control, but like Red seems. Flyer. Um So Cake Cutter, Swift Sparrow again, Ardent Sacrifice, um, which is nothing new. Air Orders yeah. three, uh, is already a thing that ha- who else has the skill? It was on Bath Hinoka. Bath and oh yeah, I I, forgot, I I honestly forgot that banner existed. <laughs> it, it came and went very quickly, and I don't think a lot of people pulled on it, or maybe they did. I don't know. I just remember because I actually got her for free on the banner. <laughs> yeah, the biggest thing is AR defense, uh, speed defense three. I'll tell you what, man. Like the only time I've ever come across this was against a Flora, and like it was just in a corner. I have not seen it since. Like I yeah, don't... these skills are kind of garbage. Yeah, I mean they're nice. They're on just paper. bad. It takes up an A slot. Like you want your A slot for other things like DC or steady breath or sturdy yeah. impact, or you want it for I don't know, like distant defense four. <laughs> yeah, I just that, there, I feel useful. like there's like just more kind of consistent things here that don't just like become wasteful once you destroy. Yeah, I've literally. A thing is though, like I've only seen like a couple of like. Floras. Maybe it's not a thing in like my tier. Is it? Is it a thing for your tier to see the skill or to see? Flora? Never. 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 Yeah. Speed defense is a very good combo actually because you've got a lot of units who are, who are, like heavy hitters and need that want that extra speed but also that defense double. and they have pretty good resistance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. But, but it, it's just like you would use speed defense solo instead, which is <laughs> also recent. So I mean. Yeah. Definitely not something that I'm like excited about it's just going to be a thing that like i never see ever <laughs> everyone just goes back to their noes and their tikis yep <laughs> or and this i i mean canagus has been like the most recent unit i found that has been like a big game changer for aether raids recently and like yeah, him, and, him and duma are i find everywhere well that's because duma's just a, he's the defense reducer but canagus is uh new and he's bulky he's big yeah he's annoying <laughs> Fancy fiance. Well then, I mustn't leave my lovely bride waiting. He sounds so sarcastic when he says that. I mustn't I mean, I, leave I, I my honestly... lovely bride waiting. Yeah, okay, <laughs> dude. Like, yeah, you're only marrying Louise. Like, that's cool. I guess I'm going to marry this commoner. Whoops. <laughs> They're like the power couple of Fire Emblem, in my opinion. They are the power couple. Like, that is a very strong state. I mean, they, they like, mechanically, they are. Like, you can't argue that. <laughs> well, that too. Just, like, mechanically, also when you look at them, just, like, the way they interact... Yeah. Like, they've just got an awesome dynamic going on. Yeah, and even um, their art is, like, samey. In, like, in, in the... And in, in Heroes, actually, like, they're posed, like, in sync. I don't know if you ever saw, like, a picture of them next to each other in their attack. But it's... The, oh, I it's, haven't. It's the same. Like, she's, like, arcing her back one way, and he's arcing her back... His back the other way, and... Oh, that's awesome. Her yeah, art is actually beautiful, Oh, too. yeah. She has, fa- like, she has fantastic art, man. Unreal. Um, okay, so uh, Swift Sp- Swift Sparrow of alcohol, I'm guessing, because he drinks out of a bottle. Is that what he's doing? Is like a, is it like a... I guess so. Yeah, he's getting fucking crunk tonight. <laughs> uh, rally it's the champagne after the wedding. Yeah. Um, so Pulse Smoke Three was something that I like. Link and I first saw that we both were like, wait a second, this isn't as good as we thought it was. So inflict special cooldown plus one on target and foes within two spaces of target after combat. And no, but the big catch here is no effect on special cooldown counts already at maximum. So, um, originally we were like, "Holy shit, is this gonna like just 
ruin everyone's max special and like just like bring it down by one but no it just it just like if you're not maxed out you just get guarded in a distance i guess <laughs> um somewhat yeah yeah it's like it's like a yeah it's a it's a it slows you down if you're not maxed um if it actually like slowed down off a of max then it would be a lot more useful in my opinion um because then you can just ruin pulse teams and ruin gale force teams like completely yeah, I'm kind of sad that it doesn't do that, but I guess that's what inf- what Pulse Smoke 4 is going to be. Yeah. <laughs> Next year, Gen 4. <laughs> Maybe on the Mythical, who knows, man. Like <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's like it's a neat skill, um but I think it's not that I don't think it's I don't know. I feel like if you're going to be pulling for this banner and you're trying to get Pulse Smoke, I think it's not worth it. It's pretty good for like Grand Hero Battles and Bound Hero Battle stuff. If oh, you're that's just true. Stick I guess. a unit out there. Uh, it'll be okay for arena if you've got like your assist. Like you can stick it on a staff user who can just like, you know, hit hit someone with dazzling staff or whatever and pulse smoke them to death. It's also good on turn one. What I'm wondering is, infantry pulse. It, their turn needs to to go to happen, and so I wonder if you like smite your person in or you use a cavalry unit with this and then you hit them with pulse. Say their Moonbow at, you know, the regular two cooldown charge, does it go to three? Like, that's something I'm wondering. We'll only know when we're able to test it out, really. Yeah. I don't I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, who knows, right? But I'd I mean, kind Blade of Tomes kind of do that, so there's the capacity, right? Yeah. But, like, can you just constantly, like, smoke someone till they have, like, till they till their cooldown is like nine <laughs> or like is there a limit we'll have to see. i wonder <laughs> it'll be interesting to see whether or not they did that yeah i guess i guess if the, if that was a technicality then they then they would like literally say that in the description but um I, originally i was like oh my god pence pulse smoke can be so cool but now i'm just like uh eh, he's not it's it's good but i don't think it's going to be something that i'm going to use a lot or like i wouldn't i wouldn't like try to roll for pulse smoke to get like a grand hero battle taken care of or something it's just yeah it's nice but it's not amazing yeah it's not it's not a it's not a must <gasps> but this however is pretty fucking good boss oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah yeah so she is i would say like the best unit in this banner by far and yep. that's because yala brew is messed up boss okay so if foe's hp is less than or equal to hp minus three and foe is in a cardinal direction uh cardinal direction inflicts isolation on foe isolation being target cannot use or be the target of assist skills through its next action target can neither use nor be target of skills like dance and sing skills that neutralize penalties like restore and harsh command plus etc so this is like goodbye dancers forever for a turn like they if they get hit by this and and fjorm actually has high hp for this which is good um and this as a you said it was a uh uh per prf for fjorm yeah it is it's definitely her prf it's not inheritable yeah so they literally just can't dance and nothing can fix that like they say literally you can't restore or use harsh command so if they get like isolated then they're just dead weight for a turn which is crazy because like so many strats for aether raids have to do with like like you have something good going on and then you know it would have worked if you didn't get danced or it would have worked if legendary azura wasn't existing in this goddamn map but now you have a way to just like if there's a if there's a map with like one dancer and if they just happen to be in the same range like they're literally just a waste it's such a useful oh my god i can't i can't oh, yeah, get it's over amazing it. <laughs> especially because on turn one you can put your fjorm in whatever you know column that you want yeah so it's ready right out the door and you can just kind of like say oh hey you know we're just gonna make your dancer dead meat and you can't do anything about it yeah like um, that like... obviously it's just that specific column so if someone has like three dancers on their defense team guilty um <laughs> not if you have three fjorms <laughs> Hey, no. power to you. If you've got three fjorms, why don't you just plus 10 them all while you're at it, too? Yeah. <laughs> so I think this, I think, like, if, since this is, I genuinely think that this fjorm is going to be, like, the next big meta unit in AR, um, because that's so useful. Like, if you have, if you have a fjorm and you have, like, a, 
uh, Null C Disrupt. You have like a, like a guy you can end turn, the map is over. Because so much, I, in my opinion, right? Because like so many strategies revolve around like trying to tank anyone you can. But there's always like that goddamn dancer that can just ruin everything, especially Legendary Azura. So it's out of this yeah, world. It's a banana exactly. scale. It, it's, not just, it's not just the dancers. A lot of people don't realize that a lot of teams are actually built around things like rally traps. And so if you can locate that specific unit which a rally trap is built around, say like my defense, yeah. and you just say, hey, sorry, you're not going to be able to get rallied, then the entire team just kind of falls apart. Well, even mine, right? Like even even like my map that like we worked on together, it, it's predicated on Nino rallying Hinoka. But if Hinoka can't do that, and Hinoka and Olivia are in the same column, then like my map is done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like it can just it can just like it's such it would be such a hard thing to account for because like, how do you account for your like your dancer strats to just be completely deleted? I don't know. It's a good question, but it's rough. It's going to be interesting to see if the meta changes in response to this. If we go back to like say stall meta of it all being armors and stuff, I yeah. don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess it's kind of a meme to say it's going to be like a game changing skill, but like that is a huge asset and i'm and if i i'm gonna pull like i'm gonna roll on this banner and i'm gonna shoot for like as much as i want to get tanith like i don't know if you can like pass up for this like that is such a useful thing and she's not color sharing either so yeah additionally like she also like she has restore plus which is great um and uh hp attack 2 which is a nice one um and ground orders 3 which is also just insane <laughs> um at the start of turn, it grants the following status to adjacent infantry, armored, and cavalry allies for one turn. Unit can move to a space adjacent to any ally within two spaces. So they can, like, fly. They can just fly it's around the map. basically flyer formation for everything that isn't a flyer. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's just crazy. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Armors can, like, move... Like, it's just such a useful thing. Everyone has warp powder. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. And like this. It's like Zelgius mass produced warp powder and he's canning it out like, <laughs> I don't know, hotcakes, juice, beer, I don't whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, man. It's going to be great. I, I like this, particularly for my team, because I have said, like, for my AR teams, they're so infantry heavy because I like doing infantry pulse. Helbindi and Erica are both infantry units. Um, so, yeah, like, this would be such a helpful thing to have just for like that flexibility to move everywhere and and like for ar specifically like have being able to like have that flexibility to move wherever you want is like so helpful to me um and that's i guess why flyers dominate so much because like they can move like crazy yeah they've got the best movement options although i will say i think there's one caveat to this which is that i believe and we won't know this yet again until data mine and units come out but i think this might be flyer restricted Oh, for sure it is. It is definitely flyer restricted. Yeah. There's no way it's not. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, when it comes to these kind of skills, I, it always seems like... I mean, it's like the, it's like literally the same thing of Guidance, and Guidance had like that finger pointing down to the dude. I was just thinking that. It yeah, looks it, the exact same as Guidance, but with a different background. Yeah, it's it's definitely flyers only. Um, but even so, like, works for me. <laughs> Although, did Guidance work on calves? I can't remember. No. I don't think so. Guidance didn't work on calves. It worked for yeah. infantry and armored. So, like, this is great. Like, calves have... Oh, God. Although I wouldn't know why calves would want to be able to use, move next to an ally within two spaces when they can just move three spaces at once in general. So that's kind of weird. But mm, I guess it defies things like tactics room or gravity and yeah. stuff like that. So it's kind yeah. of cool. Yeah, it's, it just kind of deletes that kind of shit. So. Yep. Um, yeah, and... Then we have... Yeah, so she has, like, 46 health, which is great. Well, it's 42 because of her A skill giving her 4 extra. Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true. But still, like, that's a good A skill to have. Your entire gimmick is based around your HP being better. I would Man. just go HP plus 5. Yeah, like, who needs that attack? You're not going to be doing anything. You're just going to be moving in and pissing people off. Pretty or at least you, you can give her guard smoke, or what is it called? Pulse smoke. Pulse smoke. <laughs> Instead of yeah, that's, that's actually a good, good one. That'd be so frustrating. No, I don't know, man. Like, who knows? It's such a, she's such a useful healer. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. And then uh, Louise. So that's cool, too. And yep. Yeah. 
And she's free. And she's free. And this is happening. And she's tonight. probably going to have. Yeah, she's probably going to have the Swift Sparrow effect on her bow yeah, as well. Yeah, I was going to say she's definitely going to have that. I wonder what else. What other skills she's going to get? I don't think it's going to be anything new, but oh, hopefully no, it's something for, good for sure. No, it's probably going to be like dull something. Dull close. <laughs> dull close inheritable, which makes no sense, right? <laughs> I guess she couldn't even. She just be maybe she'll get another rally up special. Because we, we is don't... there is there any smoke skills that aren't free yet? Um, I think defense smoke isn't free. No, uh, pan oh, no, defense is. smoke. Yeah, it is. Attack smoke is Kaze. Speed smoke. Speed smoke is falling. Ta yeah, Takumi and Res smoke. I forgot who Res smoke is off the top of my head. I can't remember. Does anyone have it? Yeah, yeah, we definitely have it in the game. No, I mean for free units. Uh, Hold on, let's look this up. It is on Legendary Robin and Fallen Deltea. Oh no, it's not on Fallen. That's just something. Else. Yeah, so just Legendary Robin. Wow, you know what? She might have Res Smoke, honestly. Potentially, yeah. That'd be cool. I'm calling it. She has Res Smoke. <laughs> if you call that, then I'm I'm calling shenanigans. Well, I mean, Tanith is shenanigans enough. So that's hilarious, man. I'm so stoked. Yeah. So. Um, my impression, my final impression of the banner so far, skill-wise, um, I think Fjorm is the best, followed by uh, Pent, I guess. Um, and my the one I'm going to pull for is... Uh, is <sighs> I hope to pull both, but I think I might try to go for... No, I can't. I can't betray Tan. I think I'm going to go for Blue. I'm you got to go, you gotta go for your go. waifu, man. Yeah, I gotta you gotta go, gotta go for, for the waifu. The woman, the lady. Gotta go for Tanith. What about you? Yep. What's your final take on this? Uh, I think I think this is very solid. It's kind of following the trend of seasonal banners having the cool inheritable skills. Yeah, um, with seasonal the normal banners, banners are always having... sick. Yeah. yeah. In terms of skills, the normal banners have like the better power creep slash units in general. Yeah. But I think it's good. I think Fjorm is like... If, if you're really struggling in AR against dancers and stuff, she's probably a must-have. She's not color-sharing. She's a good unit. She's limited. So if, if you need that, you got to go for it here, I'd say. Um, yeah. And you get a nice two-for-one deal with Ground Orders. I think Ground Orders is going to be is gonna shake some things up in terms of team comps on Aether Raid's defense. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right, because you get that shenanigans. Because, like, a lot of movement shenanigans had to do with uh, flyers. Yep. Um, and, like, flyer guidance and... I mean, fruit of a dune, that kind of thing. So yep, exactly, um, exactly. Doing, doing that, you know, honestly, doing that for entropy for like my teams, I like that would actually really interest me as well because I love like my best units are infantry units. So if I can like incorporate movement like jank with that, that'd be sick. So we'll have to see. Oh um, yeah. So yeah, I'm definitely like Fiorma is definitely someone who I'm going to be really pulling for. And people are sleeping on the refinable Swift Sparrow weapons. Don't sleep on those. Those are going to be big. I think they're going to be big. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's a big that's big time. That's big time, boss. Mm -hmm. All right, so that is the uh, bridal uh, belonging banner. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little reaction. Uh, Link, thanks for joining me. His channel is going to be in the description below. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. Yeah, and with that being said, hope you guys enjoy this banner. Let me know in the comments who you're going to be pulling for or who your favorite character is or who do you think the best character or worst character is from this banner. Um, I'm thinking I'm thinking that Sigrun is just going to be like a big snore. Poor Sigrun. Agree. Yeah, big agree there. I don't think she has really anything to offer. Yeah. Anyways, guys, that's it for us. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you're new to this channel and you want to see more Fire Emblem Heroes related stuff like this, go ahead and subscribe. Also, take a look at uh, Link King's channel. He makes some really, really funny, really, really funny showcases that are really actually informative and uh, they kind of influence some people to do what he does in a very poorly <laughs> thought out way and it's hilarious. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, take care, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Deuces. Peace.